given the joint probability density function of x and y, f of x comma y is equal to 8xy, 0 less than x less than y less than 1, 0 otherwise, find the marginal and conditional probability density functions of x and y, find e of x and e of y are x and y independent. So in this problem, look at the limits. The limits is given as, 0 less than x less than y less than 1. It is not 0 less than x comma y. If x comma y then both x and y lies between 0 and 1. Here x and y are dependent limits. x varies from 0 to y and y varies from x to 1 and the outer limits for both x and y is from 0 to 1. Okay so now if you know how to find the marginal and conditional density functions of x and y for continuous random variable as well as for discrete random variable, definitely you will attend one part B question in any university examinations. So, uh, now let us see how to find the marginal density function of x. It is given by fx of x equal to, all of you know how to find it. It is integral f of x comma y dy integrating the joint density function with respect to y. So, it is integral. What is f of x comma y? 8xy dy. So, here we need to find the limits for y. What is the limit for y? y varies from, y varies from x to 1. So, y varies from x to 1. So, this has to be integrated with respect to y. So, 8x is a constant. Integral of y is y square by 2 between the limits x to 1. So, 8 by 2 is 4x. The limits you have to substitute only for the variable y. So, upper limit 1 square is 1 minus the lower limit is x square. So, 4x into 1 minus x square. This is the marginal density function of x. And the limits for x is 0 less than x less than 1. Because from two-dimensional random variable, we have found the marginal density function of x. So, the limit for x is from 0 to 1. Similarly, let us find the marginal density function of y. It is integral f of x comma y dx integrating the joint density function with respect to x. So, it is integral f of x comma y is 8xy dx. What is the limit for x? x. The limit for x is x varies from 0 to y. So, x varies from 0 to y. So, 8y is a constant. Integral of x is x square by 2 between the limits 0 to y. So, it is 4y, upper limit is y square minus the lower limit is 0. So, fy of y is 4y cube, the limits for y, 0 less than y, less than 1. So, the marginal density function of x is 4x into 1 minus x square, 0 less than x, less than 1. And the marginal density function of y is 4y cube, 0 less than y, less than 1. Now, we have to find e of x and e of y. So, now let us find e of x. What is e of x? e of x is integral x into fx of x dx. So, this is integral x into what is fx of x? 4x into 1 minus x square dx. Where the limits for x is from 0 to 1. So, this is 4 into 4. We can take it outside. Integral 0 to 1. x square into 1 minus x square dx. So, this is 4 into integral 0 to 1 x square minus x power 4 dx multiplying. So, you get 4 into 
integrating with respect to x you get x cube by 3 minus x power 5 by 5 between the limits 0 to 1 so this is equal to 4 into when you substitute the upper limit 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 and the lower limit becomes 0 so 4 into take 15 as LCM so you get 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2 so 4 into 2 it is 8 by 15 so this is e of x so e of x is equal to 8 by 15 let us find e of y e of y is integral y into f y of y dy so this is integral y into f y of y is 4 y cube dy y varies from 0 to 1 so it is 4 into integral 0 to 1 y power 4 dy so this is equal to 4 into integral of y power 4 is y power 5 by 5 between the limits 0 to 1 so this is equal to 4 by 5 so e of y is equal to 4 by 5 Next, let us find the conditional density function of conditional density function of x given y that is f of x given y. This is given by the formula the joint density function of x comma y divided by f y of y conditional density function of x given y. This is easy to do this. In the numerator la always joint density function. In the denominator la y irukka, so denominator la marginal density function of y. Joint density function is 8xy and Marginal density function of y in a 4y cube. So, 2x by y square. So, this is the conditional density function of y. Now, we have limits. It is a function of both variables x and y. So, problem is the limits. 0 less than x, less than y, less than 1. So, this is the let us find the conditional density function of y given x. Now, this is formula is easy to the joint density function f of x comma y divided by denominator like x. Irka. So, marginal density function of x. So, this is equal to 8xy divided by marginal density function of x. 4x into 1 minus x square. So, this is 2y divided by 1 minus x square so the conditional density function of y given x if for end variable x and y it is a function of both random variables so the given limits 0 less than x less than y less than 1 so the conditional density function of x given y under the 2x by y square 0 less than x less than y less than 1 conditional density function of y given x under the 2y by 1 minus x square for 0 less than x less than y less than 1. Next, in our question, the problem the question bandhi, are x and y independent? So, this is an important part B question. So, either learn panitinga na, you can easily score 8 marks. x and y independent. This is check pandhradhe. If x and y are independent, then it should satisfy the condition that joint density function of x comma y is equal to the product of the marginal density functions of x and y. In the formula when x and y are independent. When x and y are independent. x and y independent in the condition satisfy pannano. If a joint density function enna kudutirukanga 8xy kudutirukanga marginal density function of x enna kandupidichirukom 4x into 1 minus x square marginal density function of y enna panirukom 4y cube 
இப்போ இது ரெண்டும் ஈக்குவலா இங்க வந்து எயிட் எக்ஸ் ஒய் இருக்கு இங்க வந்து சிக்ஸ்டீன் எக்ஸ் ஒய் கியூப் இன்டு ஒன் மைனஸ் எக்ஸ் ஸ்கொயர் ஸோ தீஸ் டூ ஆர் நாட் ஈக்குவல் தேர் ஃபோர் நம்மளோட கன்க்ளூஷன் என்ன எக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஒய் ஆர் நாட் இண்டிபெண்ட் இது ரொம்ப ரொம்ப இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஸோ ஐ ஹோப் யூ உட் ஹவ் அண்டர்ஸ்டுட் என்னோட டீச்சிங் பிடிச்சிருந்ததுன்னா யூ லைக் சப்ஸ்கிரைப்